Hello, Robert. This is in lieu of uh, your missed lesson. I'm sorry uh, we got our wires crossed, uh, but I hope this is some value for you. So uh, let's take a look at uh, Man Who Fell to, to Earth. I'm sorry, not Man Who Fell to Earth. <laughs> Great movie, though. Man Who Sold the World. Same guy, right? Uh, uh, so this is uh, not the Bowie version, but this is the Nirvana version. And uh, there's some similarities. Of course, it's the same song uh, and some things that we can look at that are sort of common. But uh, instead of going diving right into the song and strumming and all that kind of stuff, why don't we just look at some, we're going to look at some bits and pieces of it, right? That might be a fun way to do it. Um, I usually teach, uh, I choose a song and I, that song becomes sort of the framework for the guitar lesson. So uh, this can be another way of looking at that. All right, so we have got some chords, uh, we have some cool um, licks and uh, some scales and things that we can talk about. And the first one, I think the one you'd be most interested in is going to be this guy. So that employs something called a hammer-on. And uh, what's happening here, if I change my camera here, what's happening here is I'm playing the G sharp and then I'm going to go down to an F sharp which is uh, G sharp on the first fret of the G string. Of course, the G string is open. Half a step up from that will be a G sharp. So that's the first fret of your G string. And then down to the F sharp on the D string. The D string, you can count like so. D, a whole step to an E, half a step to an F, and then the fourth fret is the F sharp. So we're going to go G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp. And then we're going to do this cool thing called a hammer on. So what's going to happen is with your second finger, you'll play the um, the A, just like uh, push it on and off quickly. And then back to the G sharp. Now again, you'll see I'm using certain fingers for, for certain frets. So for us, good rule of thumb, first finger, first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, and fourth finger, fourth fret. So this, of course, no finger on your open string. First finger is going to be on the first fret, second finger on the second fret, third finger on the third fret, and fourth finger on the fourth fret. So for us, for this lick, it's going to sound like this. So that's kind of a cool way to do that. Uh, again, first fret, first fret, first fret, fourth fret of the D string, and then hammer on. If you were going to play it without the hammer, uh, you'd play G sharp, a G sharp G sharp A G sharp back to your F sharp again so uh, in slow motion it sounds like this so that hammer run is a very handy thing to be able to do Again, slapping the finger on there, that's the hammer on, and the, and the other half of that, of course, is a pull off. So that's what, you're, that's what you're hearing there. So I would practice putting first finger on the first fret, and then just putting second finger on there so you can hear it make a sound like a, like a bumblebee, right? Like, like that, right? And then if you strike the string with your right hand, uh, you have uh, essentially this. So I can't show you both hands because I've got the chords up there, but uh, right hand is going striking one time on the first note that you hear on the G sharp. And left hand, of course, is uh, waiting, is holding that G sharp down, and then second finger quickly comes down. Da -da -da, right, And then pinky finger uh, ready to take up his duty up here in the fourth fret of the, of the D string. So again. Okay, so the next thing that we want to talk about are some uh, chord shapes, and the shapes, uh, the chord shapes that we're interested in uh, are these guys right here. Let me see if I can shift this over. All right, so we've got. Um, well, I can make this a little bigger. Hold on, I think I can make that bigger. And I think that will be that might be helpful. Let's see what that looks like uh, in the context here. Okay, so the first guy that we want to do. Uh, now you can see that it's written as an A flat, right? And the thing is, an A flat is the same thing as a G sharp, which is written in the uh, note. So that sounds like this. That's on the fourth fret. This number right here 
uh, indicates the, the fret number, this uh, 4 right here indicates the fret number, right? This line going across here indicates one finger going all the way across. So that's typically my first finger. Then over here, on the, this will be on the 6th fret of the A string, I have my third finger, my pinky finger is here on the 6th fret of the D string, and my second finger is up on the 5th fret of uh, the G string. So if I was going to show you this guy, this is what that would look like. That's a G sharp or an A flat. Again, first finger on the 4th fret, right? Uh, and then uh, third finger on the 6th fret of the A string, pinky finger on the 6th fret of the D string, second finger on the 5th fret of the G string. Pretty cool. Okay, and the next chord that we want is going to be, uh, let me just, oh, hold on, let me just make sure here. The next chord that we want is actually going to be a C sharp minor. So a C sharp minor, I can show you here, C sharp minor is this guy. We're going to leave uh, finger one finger on the fourth fret, and what we're going to do then is move that first finger to the fourth fret of the A string, and then move our other three fingers just in the same configuration, right? That means third finger is going to be on the sixth fret of the D string, pinky finger is going to be on the sixth fret of the G string, and second finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the A of the B string. And that sounds like so. Now with our two chords together, one of them is like so, and the other guy like this. So this is a challenge. It really is a challenge to play these chords this way, right? So again, if you're looking at them, here's your, here's your uh, G sharp A flat and your C sharp minor. But what I would do is practice moving between those two chords because this change, that, that is the change in these chords, is fundamental. So those two changes right there are a really good place uh, for us to uh, to think about the chords that we want. So we have this. To think about, right? And then we have this. To think about. And I'm going to do one more thing for you. And that is, uh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, the notes are. So we're going to play this. You just have to kind of watch. Um, I'll, I'll uh, explain what I'm doing here. So this is actually, it sounds like a B scale, right? So if I start on B, B, C sharp, uh, oh, sorry, B, C sharp, B sharp, E, uh, F sharp, G, and then uh, A, uh, and then B again. Oh no, not me. I'm the man who sold the world. Uh, like that. Now, it sounds like a B scale, except check this out. So if we were doing a proper major scale, it would go for the B, it would go um, Do, Re, Do, Re, Mi, uh, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. That last note that we would do there would be a half step below the uh, the 7, half step below the 8. So that would be your, um, uh, your A sharp right to the, uh, I'm sorry, A sharp to the B, right? B, C sharp, B sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. A sharp and B, but instead, with the notes that we're playing are almost, almost the same, except that one's flatted. So they're going to go B, second finger on the second fret, C sharp, uh, pinky finger on the fourth fret, uh, D sharp, first finger on the first fret of the D string, then E, second, uh, second finger on the second fret of the D string, and then F sharp, which is the fourth fret. That's what we've been to that guy before, right? And then G sharp with our first finger again, G sharp. And now we're going to go, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Instead of going here, right, to our, uh, um, to our, um, uh, uh, to our uh, B flat, right, we're going to go, uh, whole step, right? So that takes us from the G sharp to the A, right? Uh, and then to the B. So what we're talking about here is not quite a, uh, it's not quite a, uh, a B major scale. What it is, check this out, this is pretty fancy, uh, it's a musical thing, right? It's actually the fifth uh, mode of the E major scale. 
So now the E major scale, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, right? It sounds quite a bit like that. But if we start that scale instead of from an E, from a, instead of starting from an E, and we start from a B, we have that selection of notes. So the E major scale goes. There's your E major scale. If you're interested in that, because it's, uh, I mean, it's not kind of a cool thing to do. So let me show you what that looks like on the neck of the guitar. Uh, e, F sharp, again, First finger on the first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, and fourth finger on the fourth fret. So E, F sharp, second finger, uh, F, G sharp, uh, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. So that'll say the frets down. Open two, four, open two, four, one, two. And that'll take you through one entire octave of the E major scale. And then we can start here again. Two, four, one, two, four, two, four, open. I'll do the whole thing again. So this is two octaves on the, uh, uh, in, the in the first position right here, two octaves of an E major scale. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. So that uh, scale right there is that, that part of that scale right there, um, if you start it from the B, is actually, since it's the B is the fifth degree, right? E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B is the fifth degree. Uh, fifth degree, it just means the fifth number, the fifth element, the fifth uh, degree of the E scale. Starting from there, uh, and then playing the rest of the E scale all the way up to the B again, through the E to the B, uh, is a mixolydian mode, and that is what David Bowie and Nirvana are using to play that part that goes, oh no, not me, that little run that goes from the B. And it looks cool too, right? So remember, when you're practicing this kind of stuff, it takes a lot of time. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be gentle with yourself, man. Nobody knows how to do this right off the bat, right? So the important thing is don't get too frustrated and remember to do this as slow as you possibly can. Slow as you can. That's what, that's really the key. That's really the key to uh, any, any uh, hand skill that I can think of, and especially playing guitar. Slow as you can do it. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Um, I look forward to, again, I apologize for missing the lesson. I hope this makes up for it in some sense, and I will see you next time. We'll try to, I'll try really hard to remember that you're like hours away from me. So, <laughs> so again, my, uh, my apologies, and I hope that you enjoyed this, sir.